What a glorious day to come your way today. Listen, anyone that I connect with is always special. I am a special person. God loves me specially. And I'm talking truthfully here. Anyone that God allow my anointing to connect with are not ordinary people. I have seen it happen more than two decades, more than 20 years. People that connect with me are always special. And I believe your destiny is special. That's why you're watching me right now. Welcome and good morning. Now, today's program, God said to me, I want to fight for my people, so lead them in some prayers. You know, in the book of Psalm 68, verse 1, the Bible says, Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. God is interested in fighting for you. The Bible says, The anger of man does not fulfill the righteousness of God. What does that mean? It means... Don't waste your anger. Let God fight for you. Let God fight for you. And to those of you that have been waiting upon the Lord, the day of, your, of God's vengeance has come. The day of your redemption from the shackles and the hole of the enemy is here. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I have these three scriptures to share with us. And I'm trusting the Lord that in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you hear my voice, God's power will begin to move on your behalf. There are three categories of people that God wants me to pray for today. The first category can be found in the book of Acts chapter 12, from verse 21 to verse 23. Acts chapter 12, from verse 21 to verse 23. This first category are the people that unbelievers are glorying over your life. There's a man, he's a king, his name is Herod. The Bible says, And upon a set date, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration unto the people. Verse 22. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God, not of a man. He was glorying over them. He was, he was oppressing them, and they were, they were giving him glory that was not due to him. Look at what God did, verse 23. The Bible says, and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not the glory to the Lord and he was eating of worms and died. He gave up the ghost. That's the first category of people that the Lord asked me to speak into their life today. Do you have some people, uh, some people that feel that they have strong powers over your destiny? Maybe they are, they are witches and wizards or cultic people in your family and they have held everybody's star and glory captive. God said he wants to fight for you today because vengeance belongs to the Lord. Herod has, has, has so trapped these people that all they could do was to be singing his praise. Maybe you are like those three Hebrews who choose not to bow down to the idol that Nebuchadnezzar has made. And you have been in the furnace of fire, but God did not allow the fire to consume you. But your life has been limited inside fire from one problem to another, from one situation to another. Today, the hand of the Lord is bringing you out in the name of Jesus. That place inside that fire is not your place of abode. It was just a place of your test. And as you are hearing me right now, the right hand of the Almighty God is bringing you out of every fire-like situation that surrounds you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every oratory power, the power of the tongue that some people have enchanted on your destiny, that, 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 that kept you captive, that put you in a straight situation, the hand of the Lord is reaching out to you right now in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Almighty God is bringing you out right now in the name of Jesus. I quench the power of that fire of affliction. I quench the fire of that affliction that the enemy has placed around you. Imbratosu Kanama. That lion of life that has been roaring against you, I command them to be silenced right now in the name of Jesus. 
I command that they, their voice, their tongue, be held captive on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus. Those who have been boasting and taking glory over your life, eh, from now, whatever they think they are doing, that make them to look like a God in your life, God will not give them the opportunity to be able to do it again. God will raise men who will give him glory for your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, where do you find yourself today? What situation are you in right now? As a married woman, maybe you mar maybe your husband marry another wife, and then it's like you are in a slavery camp now, because the other woman is fetish and they are going everywhere trying to conjure fetish power against your spirit and against your home. Eko luzata hazanzava. As we are hearing my voice right now, all the enchantment that they make against you is now being destroyed. If only you can hear my voice in the name of the Lord Jesus, every enchantment they have made against you to make that your home, a, a living hell, all those enchantments, they are hereby nullified and destroyed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God wants you to prosper. Is it your academics? You have been, I see someone that you have been very academically um, brilliant. Now, it's like you have finished a particular degree and then you are at a higher level. But right now, you are not doing very well at all. And I hear in my spirit, an enemy has done it. And today, the Lord wants to redeem your destiny. The Lord wants to bring back the days of glory. Hear me, hear me, hear me. I speak to your destiny. I speak into your destiny. I speak to your glory. And you Let your destiny receive deliverance. You are, you are failing. And you said, I don't even understand why I can no more assimilate. I don't understand why I can no more interpret question properly. Ah, all those problems end today over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord has sent me to you to give you deliverance. In facetica, me me bukambora rukata, shalata katariba, ezuvazanta linamo, me duka namayaba. Your next exams, the next exam, you will come out excellently in the name of Jesus. God will put to shame those who are taking glory over your failure. God will put to shame those who have suppressed your destiny. God will put to shame those who have said you can never amount to anything. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone, you are watching me. You have pains on your knee. As I speak right now, in Jesus' name, the pains are gone. Check it. Just move your knee. You will see a miracle has taken place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is the anointing. It has nothing to do with me. It's just me knowing what God is doing and pronouncing it. Because knowing it is one thing. Pronouncing it brings it to manifestation. And then when you act on it, then you receive what the Lord has done. Thank you, Father. The second category of people that I want to prophesy upon. Remember, it is the Lord that is fighting your battle right now. It's not man. It's not man. So it has nothing to do with your perfection. It's not, it, it has nothing to do with the excellence of your personality. It's just God stepping into your case to silence the enemy and the adversary of your glory. The second set of people is still in the same act, of, act chapter 12. This time around is from verse 5 to verse 11. Act chapter 12 from verse 5 to verse 11. Now, listen to me. For the sake of righteousness, because you choose to, 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 to maintain your stand as a child of God, some people have kept you in a particular corner. They have kept you in prison. But the Lord asked me to announce on the housetop, it's time for your deliverance. 
Bedi, ashola on deti gumbe. It's time for your liberty. Inka onse ente du baraba. It's time for your glory to begin to be celebrated. In brebrene muzan toriadi gabava. It's time, I say. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's time, I say. In safalo ne kutaraba. I speak into your hair. I'm not talking of physical hair. I speak to your spiritual hair. And I declare the word of the Lord. It's time for your freedom. Yes, get said. It's time for your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak to you in your dreams. Yes, because we are all spirits. And because we are living spirits, I can connect with your spirit man. Because the life of God is in me. And God is the father of all spirit. Therefore, I connect with your spirit. And I declare by the word of the Lord, as an oracle from heaven, it is time for your deliverance. Get set. The beauty of your destiny will begin to come back. Everything will begin to fall in place. Because it is time for your freedom. You know, in this Acts chapter 12, when you read from verse 1, Herod took James and killed him. And when he saw that the people were happy that, at what he did, he took Peter. And his intention was after the Sabbath, he was going to kill Peter too. But the Bible said that um, the church began to pray for Peter. You see, when you don't pray for your pastor, Satan will begin to torment him. When you don't pray for your, for your pastor's wife, Satan will begin to torment her. When you don't pray for those in political offices, you will not be able to enjoy a life of peace. The Bible says that pray for all men, pray for those in position of authority, so that you may lead a quiet and, 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 and peaceable life in all godliness. We need to pray. The church began to pray when they took Peter. And then in verse 5, the Bible says, Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without season to the church, of the church unto God for him. They begin to ask God to intervene. They begin to ask God that, Father, Lord, humanly speaking, this may be impossible. Peter was kept in the inner prison. And there are guards. In fact, according to what we are told, there are two gates that lead to where Peter was kept. Where Peter was kept, there are, there are soldiers right there. And then in the first gate, there are soldiers there. And the second gate, there are soldiers there. So humanly speaking, there is no way any human being will have been able to um, 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 rescue him. But not for God. Verse 6, and when Herod will have brought him forth, that same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keeper, and the keepers be, before the door kept the prison. I don't know the limitation that men has placed around you. I don't know what makes it look like you can never get out of that situation. But I'm here to let you know today that because it is time for you to be free, as we are hearing the voice of the Lord through my mouth today, every hindrance, every chain, every, every circumstance that make your life miserable, ah, in the name of the Lord Jesus, they will begin to give way. <clears throat> the Bible says in verse 7, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And the angel smote Peter on his side and said unto him, Rise up quickly. And as Peter made effort to rise up quickly, all the chains fell off from his hand. What did the enemy has used to keep you at the same spot can only retain its potency until the time that God has come to step in. And I'm glad to let you know today that the Lord Jesus Christ asked me to tell you that he has come to step into your case. He has come to step into your marital case. He has come to step into your health matter. He has come to step into your paper issue. He has come to step into your family. And there shall be peace. Everything that hinders and holds you down is broken loose in the name of Jesus. Verse 8, And the angel said to him, Guide yourself and put on your sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast your garment around you and follow me. <laughs> when God said, Follow me, case closed. Nobody can withhold you when God is time for you to move. Nobody can 
keep you stalled at the same position when God is in season for your progress. And I'm here to declare by the word of the Lord, somebody is watching me right now. I hear it emphatically. It is your time for promotion. And in the name of Jesus, I command that that promotion will now come. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For promotion does not come from the east. It doesn't come from the west. God is the judge. He lifts up one and pulls down the other. And I'm announcing over your destiny today that you are the next one that God is lifting up for promotion. In your marriage, in your family, in your, in your community, in your place of work. In the name of Jesus Christ. The angel told him, gather your clothes, put on your sandals and follow me. Verse 9. And he went out and followed him. He, 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 he wished not that it was true. He did not know that it was true, which was done by the angel. But he thought that he was just seeing a vision. And when he told Abi Allah, deliverance that look like dream, I, I deliver the same grace into your destiny right now. Eh, you are watching me, you have gone to... You know, maybe you have gone to an MFM church and they have done some praying for you. Listen, that's not what is bringing the testimony. The testimony is coming to you right now because God wants to take glory. Uh, you, have, you have said that, uh, I've prayed, I've prayed, nothing has happened. It is because God was waiting. But now it's time for God to move on your behalf. And when God moves on your behalf, every hindrance will give way. The Bible says, verse 9 again, and he went out and followed him. And he, he was not sure that it was true, which was won by the angel, but he thought he saw a vision, verse 10. And when they were past the first and the second world, you know, they came to the inner gate that led to the city. They came to the iron gate that led to the city, which opened unto them of his own accord. They don't need key. They don't need key. When God steps into your matter, protocols are broken. If the time is not ripe yet, but when the time is ripe, you begin to see doors will begin to flung open before you. And God asked me to tell someone watching me today that this is your set time for miracles. This is your set time for breakthrough. This is your set time for divine honor in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be nothing that any man can do about it. God has chosen to honor you and me in this season. And we shall receive that honor. And no man shall be able to stop it. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, um, They came unto the iron gate that lead unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and fought with the angel departed from Peter. Verse 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel, hallelujah, who has delivered me out of the hand of Herod. And from all the expectation of the people of the Jew. I don't know what the enemy has been expecting from you. I don't know what the enemy has been expecting to, to see happen in your life. There are people that have gathered together. And they are expecting the worst out of your life. Uh -uh. But today, by the hand of God, I command a complete reversal of their purpose. Whatever they have said, whatever they have done, whatever they have said, whatever they have done, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Almighty God, I command a reversal of their purposes. In the name of Jesus, their expectation they shall not be disappointed. In in the mighty name of Jesus. I mean the expectation of the Jews of your life. I want to read it. Men and women that are waiting for the glory of your life to be to, to, to sink into, into, into forgetfulness. Ah, God will surprise them. God will surprise them. For arise and shine, I say in the name of the Lord. I said arise and shine, I say in the name of the Lord. I said arise and shine, I say in the name of the Lord. Eh, it is the Lord that is doing this work. It is time for your glory to shine. Mezuva zata, ikatole korabaha. They may have kept the glory of other people in your family. They may have kept it in their kovu. But today, your star is coming out. By the authority of God, of God's word that is coming out of my mouth, your star is being exempted 
prevented from being kept in the prison any longer. In Sufanina, Enti Kalabazu, Rabayona Kata, Ekatozina Mama, Marubara Dagatila, Eskete de Gembo, Apravidio Bavosa, Shatalina Kama. For it is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of God. It's time for your honor. So what are you waiting for? I want you to put on your dancing shoe for the time has come for God to honor you among men. The third category of people that God asked me to um, minister to, they are found in Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to verse 30, 26. You have been kept in confinement. This one has to do with some people who are uh, uh, leaders of God's people. Uh, the enemy has kept you in the same position. You have been waiting upon the Lord for divine intervention. You have prayed. You have been singing praises. You have been saying, Lord, don't allow my glory to be put to shame. You have been saying, Lord, don't allow the enemy to sink my glory into forgetfulness. And uh, go today, the glory has come back. Uh -huh. That's what I had. The glory has come back. And Mosok Elua share that all your glory that the enemy has sunk, I command them to begin to resurrect. Ah ah. Agbara tomo ori a kejad lati nuumi and oguayi e kubes masoje pada. Yes, the power that made the ass egg to come out of water by that same operation, by that same anointing, by that same power, I command that your glory will begin to resurrect again in the name of Jesus. When the enemy thought everything is finished, God said, "I'm just starting." And concerning your life, heaven has stepped in now. In protasi nakaba, heaven has stepped in now. Mekutaru na laba. Heaven has stepped in now. In katoda guraba. Heaven has stepped in now. Ah, iwa ogo iba oluwa bagbara. Yes, I see someone. Your glory is weak. Ah, I command that glory to receive strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that glory to receive strength. Let that glory receive strength right now. Let your 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 glory receive strength right now. In the name of Jesus. You know what happened to um, Paul and Silas? They were kept in the prison for preaching Jesus. And, and the Bible says in verse 25 that at midnight... Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners had them. People have been hearing your confession, but they have not seen the manifestation of God around you. Today is the day of manifestation. Verse 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's band was loosed. Wow. Wow. It is afitolon wubati sheton. Except if God is not ready to step in. Uh, but on your case, God said, you have, you have lamented enough. You have waited enough. It's time now for God to show himself strong on your behalf. Hallelujah. It's time God, for God to show himself strong on your behalf. On your case, eh, I've seen someone, it looks like you have lost everything. Mm. You have lost everything. And your faith is becoming weakened. Ah, in the name of Jesus, I command supernatural restoration. Ziva Nalanda Rabaha. Gold and silver I don't have. But what I have, I give unto you today. I speak to your glory. Receive restoration grace. Receive restoration grace. Receive restoration grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just be saying amen to those things. Because as you said amen, God's power begin to move. And God begin to fight your battle for you. You have tried to fight your battle before. It has put you in trouble. It's time now for God to fight for you. So that the enemy will say, ah, but we didn't hear anything from her. She did not even behave as if she's fighting us. Yes, because she, you are not the one that will fight again. They will see the hand of God. Just like um, 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 Pharaoh saw the hand of God. And he said, let the people of Israel go. Let them go. God is asking me to tell you right now that I'm speaking. The hand of God has started moving on your behalf against those 
who have kept your kept you in bound against those who have said you must keep your mouth shut and not talk about Jesus against those who have said they are going to make sure that your testimony of Jesus amount to nothing ah who on lagbare they don't have the power zizi batolanuka adegete sende efranomaza aligatara ayagata duba ezuva zanama madugadolo nomozo ekrebrevora rabo yagatalina isanda kamapa i pray for you today that in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God step into your case. Jake your Lord who could that's your right bara. Let the hand of God step into your case. I command in the name of Jesus. I dispatch the angel of God on, on behalf of my ministry. I dispatch them to go forth right now and fight your battle and give you victory in the name of Jesus. Some of you are going that are watching me right now in your dreams, in your dreams. God will show you. God will show you the victory in your dream. That's what the Lord said to me now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The time for servitude is over. The time to be walking like elephant and eating as, 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 as an ant is over. The time for the enemy to be using your destiny against your will is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. But you know what? If you're a servant of God, Maybe you're a pastor, pastor's wife, deacon, deaconess, elder. You know, maybe you are a leader in the church. Or you just have the anointing for intercession or you love to pray. Why don't you get closer to me? God told me that we should begin to pray together. And I choose that we should begin to do it once in a month for now. And the uh, October edition is coming up on the 16th of October. The third Saturday of this month. The program is for 12 o'clock. It's between 12 and 1.30. Join us. The address is Grace Ministries International. Yeah, that's our, our own ministry. 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort. So to D. Houston, Texas. 77031. If you want to know more about the program, you can just call the number or send te text message to the number 872 731-7263. The Bible says the effective prayer of righteous people make tremendous power available. Let's sharpen ourselves. The program is called Iron Sharpens Iron Ministers Prayer Meeting. Come around. Come around. Come around. Let's sharpen ourselves together and you will never regret coming because I see God beaming light and fulfillment to your destiny as you join us on that day. God bless you in a mighty and glorious way. And look at me. If you have not given your life to Jesus, I'd like you to call uh, my number so I can pray for you on the phone. The number again is 872-731-7263. You need Jesus in your life. I'm not talking religion. I'm talking your destiny. And I believe God. And you can just come worship with us on a Sunday morning by 10 a.m. Then we can talk more, I can pray with you, and you can begin to enjoy God at a higher level. Maybe you are a new in Houston, or you don't have a regular church, join us every Sunday by 10 a.m. Uh, the address again is 11214 Plainfield Street by West Belfort, so today, 77031. As you join us, you will never regret it. Until I come your way again next time, don't you ever forget that no matter what you have gone through in life, now that you're a child of God, and you are connected to the grace of God upon my life, I am very sure that your testimony will be that you are wonderful because Jesus is real. That's my faith. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Wow. I'm Reverend Sam Ajibade, and I want to take this time to specially invite you to be a part of our worship service any Sunday. You know, our church address is Grace Ministries International 11214. Plainfield Street by West Belfort. Suit D 77031. Listen to me. Everybody needs someone to talk to. In case you have need for counseling, just you can just call the number 872-731-7263. Listen to me. If you are looking for a place where you will encounter God and get insight in the world, I'll invite you to be a part of our church service every Sunday morning. God bless you. Until I see you. Bye-bye.